100 emergency personnel will be getting schooled on the dangerous chemical and hydrous ammonia this week. Farmers use it in uh, pesticides and in fertilizer. It's used in products for cleaning. It's a uh, major industry use. It's, it's, it's a very valuable, legitimate uh, uh, chemical, um, unfortunately. Uh, is also used for such things as methamphetamines. The whole purpose is to save property and life, and we want to be sure that our first responders are, are trained so that if they get into harm's way, they don't actually become part of the, of the uh, problem, that they are the solution. Emergency officials will be brought inside the railroad car before training begins on the top level, and they'll get their first taste of hands-on experience with the equipment used. It simulates some leaks that can be repaired or at least slowed down and controlled and, and until we can get an appropriate response waged, you know, to take care of the problem. If a hazardous situation occurs, making the right decision is crucial. The benefit of the training that we're uh, performing today gives our emergency responders that are typically first on the scene the knowledge and the wisdom to make the right decisions to control a hazardous material incident in the in the transportation arena. Many of the attendees we spoke to found the training very helpful. I've learned more about the properties of, of ammonia and hydrous ammonia itself and what to kind of expect if we have a release, you know, what characteristics to look for, um, not only to keep the, the people around safe, but also to keep our responders safe as they approach it. Todd Bailey, Fox 31 News.